uh, for those that has been with us since last month, we've been talking about the Holy Spirit, and we are going to continue on, at least I'm sure, for the rest of this month. Praise God. Uh, by the mercy of God, what you don't deserve or what you, are, you have been expecting that you've not been able to receive, the Holy Spirit will give to you effortlessly. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit will give it to you abundantly. In Jesus' name. 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 38 to 39. 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 38 to 39. The Bible tells us that Elijah the prophet, oh, okay, we passed that, he prepared, he prepared the altar. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice, and the wound and the stones and the dust, and it licked up the water that was in the trench. Then the people began 39 now. Now when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, The Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. Multitudes shall yet glorify the name of the Lord in your destiny. In Jesus' name. Praise God. You know, uh, according to the word of God in the book of Ephesians chapter 2, actually let's go one chapter forward. Ephesians 3, verses 2 to 4. We discover that as children of God, you know, those that are able to understand we are in a season that is called the dispensation of grace. Ephesians 3, 2 to 4. If indeed you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given to me for you, praise God. So a dispensation of grace has been given to us. Verse 4 now, it's a mystery. How that by revelation, by which when you read, you may understand my... I think something is, is jumped, or I missed something. I missed verse 3 now. Okay, verse 3. How that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in few words. Even this dispensation of grace for on the understanding, you know, blessing might be in your front and you will not know it. Because it's, 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 a, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. And the Bible talks about mysteries. Mysteries. And for us as children of God, it has been given unto us to know mysteries. Praise God. Dispensation of grace, it's a mystery. But then, it shouldn't be a mystery unto us as the children of God. Because we are expected to understand mysteries. Mark chapter 4, verse 11. Mark chapter A. Because you are not without. For those that are without, it's a parable. For those that are within, it's been given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. It's been given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. But then, in this dispensation of grace, it's a mystery. It's not just a mystery. It is something that is called a hidden mystery. A hidden mystery. A hidden me. You know it, but be rest assured, no matter what the devil is planning, he doesn't know it. That means all the goodness that heaven has proposed for your destiny, the devil doesn't know it. He is just guessing. Praise God. Okay, let me show it in the word of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 7. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 7. He tells us that it's a hidden mystery. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 7. Assuming that the devil had known. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 7. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. The hidden wisdom of God. You know, it's a mystery. It's a wisdom. It is hidden. The devil does not know. We God ordained before the ages for what? For our glory. If you go to verse 8, it will now explain that had it been that, you know, which none of the rest of this age knew. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. So it, it, it should gladden your heart that every good, every great, every perfect thing that God has for your destiny, the devil doesn't know it. Praise God. So stop glorifying Satan. 
Stop glorifying the devil. He doesn't know it. If he had known it, it was, it was tested. You know, whatever God will do, just, just look at it this way. You know, for those that did a little bit of science, you know, you take something to the laboratory. Maybe something is first called, a, a, what's it called now? Is it a, a hypothesis? You know, maybe we shouldn't go there. You know, you know, but when it is tested, it is proven, it then becomes a law. You know, so Jesus Christ came to prove that, listen, listen, listen. The plan of God for our destiny, the devil doesn't know it. But you, you are expected to know it. Because when you know the plan of God concerning your destiny, you begin to walk in that path. Praise God. You begin to do what? You don't run around in circles. You know what needs to be done. Not only that do we have what is called a mystery. What is called a hidden mystery. It is also a great mystery. Praise God. The Bible tells us in 1 Timothy now, 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, that great is the mystery of godliness. Praise God. Great, listen to me now. Listen to me. There's a mystery. The children of God, they are expected to know it. The mystery is hidden. The devil doesn't know it, but it is also a great mystery. And what unravels the greatness is what? It is holiness. Praise God. Great is the mystery of what? Godliness. What enables the greatness of the mystery to just happen in your destiny effortlessly is what? Is godliness. Is godliness. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. In our text, in our text, let me, let me join certain things together at this point. In our text, the Bible tells us that Elijah first did something before you get to verse 38. It's a popular story. He repaired the altar for the fire of God to f- fall down. That tells us we are talking about godliness. Great, and you see greatness happening effortlessly. For those that does not know the story, so that I don't assume there was a time the prophets of, uh, uh, of the devil, let me just put it that way, they were gathered together, you know, and Elijah said, there is lots of you and just one of myself. Let's do a test. Let's do a test. Because of your multitude, you, you think that uh, what you are doing is right. Let's, let's have a test. And what was the test? He said, come on, let's prepare an altar. Let's put an animal, a ram, let's cut it into pieces. Let's put it there. Let's pour water. Let's pour water. Let's even dig a trench around the altar. Let's make sure everything it is sodden with water. And then, because you are many, and you believe that you are doing what is right, who you believe in, call upon, upon the individual and let the person bring fire to burn the offering. And they say, oh, that's very nice. But they try, they couldn't do it. But because great is the mystery of godliness, because Elijah applied the principle of holiness, godliness, the fire fell down for him, and he consumed the offering. And by the mercy of God, when you begin to operate in the mystery, great mystery of godliness, everything will happen for you effortlessly. In Jesus' name. Listen, in this dispensation of grace, let me explain it to you very well. In this dispensation of grace, the word dispensation itself is from a verb that is called dispense. And the word dispense is an action word, praise God. Tap somebody seated next to you that I know maybe you worked all night. But you are in the sanctuary. You are not in the mortuary. And only the living will praise the Lord. So wake up. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. So wake up, wake up, wake up. Don't let your blessing pass you by. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. If you are sleeping, you believe I was talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you. 
Praise God. Because you have to be blessed. You can't go back home the way you came. There is a blessing that heaven has proposed for your destiny. Amen. And you can't miss it. I've been saying it for how long now? I said, the rest of the year shall be the best of the year. Amen. And there are some astounding testimonies Amen. I have had. Even for myself, there are some astounding testimonies I, I, I've experienced. The rest of the year shall be what? Be the best of the year. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus through the avenue of the Holy Spirit. So back to what we're talking about now. Back to what we are talking about. You know, in the dispensation of grace, the word dispensation is from a key word, an action word, a verb that is called dispense. Dispense. To dispense something, it means to give out. Praise God. To dispense something means to what? To give out. To give out. So when... The word of God is talking about dispensation, dispensing what your destiny needs. I will explain it like this to you. You know, looking at a doctor and a pharmacist working in, in consonance. A patient goes to a doctor. There's a diagnosis. Oh, there's an ailment. I don't know whether a flu or there's a, a viral attack, whatever. Okay, you need some antibiotics. You take the antibiotics, two pills. Uh, morning, evening, you know, the doctor writes the uh, medication. You go to the ph pharmacist. Pharmacist does what? Dispenses the medication to you. You know, over a seven-day period, two pills per day makes 14. Praise God. But because you are so, you feel you are so sick, you take the 14. <laughs> Praise God. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Praise God. You are a doctor in your former life. Praise God. Or oh, you've taken the 14 before. You know that it won't work. You will need to be hospitalized. Praise God. But when you take it according to the way it's prescribed, healing comes gradually. And that is the way God is dispensing our blessing in this age. He knows that for some of us, we can't take it all in. If he has to give it all in, all to us, we will need to be hospitalized. Praise God. Many people will not be in church again. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. He knows the way. He knows the way. At a time, people wondered, why did he take the Israelites through the route that he took them through? And he explained. He said he understood that they were not strong enough. And the path that they thought is the fastest route, not through the route of the Red Sea, Filled with Amorites, Hittites, Messiahites. And these people, they have been trained for war. But then the Israelites, they have been slaves. So when they see war, he said they were wrong. So God knows what he's doing concerning your destiny. He has it mapped out. He has it worked out. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. So he's dispensing out the blessings in dosages. The dosages of your blessing, you will not miss it. And it will work for you. Amen. But the word dispensation also means to do away with. Great is the mystery of godliness. That is, do away with sin. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. And all things, they are become new. So, the blessing of God has to be tied with holiness. Because the spirit of God is holy. God is of a purer eyes than to do what? Than to behold iniquity. Praise God. I believe the fire of God will fall and consume every obstacle in your destiny. Because God is a God of sudden manifestation. Please watch out. The rest of the year, sudden manifestations. Sudden manifestations. Sudden manifestations. Sudden manifestations. In the mighty name of Jesus. I wrote something in a weekly email. You know, and I will show you a couple of things later on because I made a promise. You know, we join everything together with the message. 
When was it? Where is Dikinola? What day was it? Was it Tuesday? When the guy called, or was it? It was on a Wednesday. Okay. We got an email from one of our lawyers, you know, concerning the building project, because at the time, you know, we were paying retainer. And I said, you know what, we are not even paying you again. You know, we are, we are not paying you again. So they said we should continue to pay or hold on to that. I said, we have paid you enough. You know, let God be our solicitor and advocate. So, but because his name was on the contact list, you know, something happened. God of divine intervention, they called him. And he said, well, he's no longer handling the case. They should contact us. And they contacted us on Wednesday. They called. You know, I was in uh, uh, Dickinola's office when the call came in. I said, well, let's hear what they have to say. Praise God. And they said, you know what, they are calling regarding this case and stuff like that, oh, employment, land conversion, and whatever. They said they've discovered that we don't need it again. You know, we, we, that we, don't, we, it's, it's not, we, we don't need it again. We, we don't need to go through that route or do anything like that. You know, that we want to use it for a place of worship. We don't need to, 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 to do that. Say, oh, do we need to contact a liar because it's a legal document? It will be binding. I said, so we said, draw it, draw the letters of the something, and we will check it. If it's okay, then we will say, go ahead and make it. But he said, it is binding. We don't need to do this. We don't need to do that. You know, praise God. Hallelujah. And I just said, this is God. How did I say it? This is all God giving us victory without lifting a hand. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I believe him saying that, who did it? Jesus. Oh, my God. Wow. That is the God of sudden manifestation. Praise God. I said, the rest of the year shall be the best of the year. The rest of the year shall be the best of the year. Let me share you. I think it was on Thursday. I got a call. You know, I said, uh, pastor, Pastor, I have good news for you. And the individual said, it is working. Praise God. Praise the Lord. But I don't want to share the, that testimony. I want the individual to share the testimony. Praise God. He said, it is working. He said, it is working. He said, I'm sure you are wondering what is working. <laughs> Praise God. You will know. You will know. He said, it, 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 it is working. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. He said, listen, the normal, you corrected me, how you call it now. What? The normal whatever. Oh, okay. All right. Praise God. They said I'm beginning to unveil everything. <laughs> Praise God. Praise the living. So get ready. Uh, you, uh, oh, my God. Lots of curious people. I've whetted your appetite. Oh, my God. Praise God. But know that the India said it is working. What has not been working for, I don't know, 15 years, maybe 20 years, that you take for granted, that we all take for granted? Praise God. He said it is working. It is working. Praise God. Just know that, that it is working. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. That is the God of sudden what? Sudden manifestation. That is the fire of God falling to consume every obstacle, every hindrance. But notice something. I'm not going to be taking too much with the, with the message, you know, because we are going to dance. We are going to celebrate. And we have, you we see certain things along the wall. We have lots of ground to cover. Praise God. Notice something. When we're talking about the fire of God falling, the fire of God is selective. Praise God. Did you hear me? The fire of God is what? It is selective. 
And the story, you see the fire burning the sacrifice, burning the wood, burning the stones. The fire of God is selective. And what makes you a candidate for that fire to come is what is godliness, holiness. Because it is selective. It is selective. Praise God. But by the mercy of God, the fire will not elude you. Because the fire itself is a propeller. The fire propels destiny to the place of prominence. When the fire fell in 1 Kings chapter 18, they said, the Lord he is God. The Lord he is God. The Lord he is God. But do you know that the name of Elijah is called the Lord is God? So not only were they saying the Lord is God, they were celebrating, they were calling Elijah, Elijah. Elijah, and that is how you will be celebrated. Yeah. When the fire falls, you will no longer be tolerated. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus, yeah. praise God. Praise the living Jesus. That fire is focused. The fire burns, very focused. The objective, the assignment, the purpose of fire is to burn. Every obstacle against your destiny I see somebody, a student here, you know, they have said severally concerning wisdom for you, you know. He's been repeating, repeating, others are getting it, you are not getting it. But there is a difference now. The fire of God is falling and consuming everything that is not allowing you to function. In the mighty name of Jesus, the wisdom, there's a fresh deposit of wisdom. Praise God. Praise a fresh, a, a glow. I see the glow, a glowing deposit of wisdom concerning your destiny. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name. Now lift up your hand to heaven. The God of sudden manifestation. The God of sudden manifestation. The God of sudden manifestation. My Lord and my God, I just want to thank you. Ancient of days, I exalt you. My Lord, Lord God of Israel, Lord God of Israel, the Lord God of sudden manifestation, your word says, Thus Hezekiah rejoiced, and all the people, because of what God had prepared for the people, for it was done suddenly. 2 Chronicles 29, 36. 2 Chronicles 29, 36. First, Hezekiah rejoiced, and all the people, because of what God had prepared for the people, for it was done suddenly. For the thing was done suddenly. Every expectation in the destiny of your children, let it be done suddenly. Indeed, let the rest of the year be the best of the year. Amen. Anything whatsoever that is a concern, let it turn to your children for a testimony. Amen. Every destiny connected one way or the other, whether right here, online, wherever they might be, their blessings will not elude them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you for an outpouring of wisdom. Concerning the destiny of your children. Blessed be your holy name. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name. God bless you.